Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you are new, hello, my name is Blanca. It's the lot. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul. I did buy some stuff from Shop Miss A. It's been a while since I've done a haul from Shop Miss A, so I decided to do one today. I did order two um, orders. Does that make any sense? But I ordered them a couple weeks ago um i'm barely getting to do the video right now because i was moving and i was busy with unpacking and packing whatever so this is the first bag it's pretty fat and then this one has less stuff but this one's the other bag i think i'm gonna start off with this one just because this one is the like the first one i ordered so the stuff in here is a little bit more older there's newer makeup in the um other one so gonna go ahead and show you guys what i bought and then um i will be doing a full face of um shot miss a makeup including the new makeup and new eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow palettes and stuff coming soon i'll probably film that one tomorrow and have that up next week maybe so the first package um i got some shot miss a makeup but there's also some stuff that has not makeup it's just like little cute stuff that they have for sale on their website so i got some of that and then the second one is just to specifically um makeup from how's everyone's quarantine going i've been off work for over a month now but i'm a homebody so i love being home I think I'm going to start off with the stuff that's not makeup first and then move on from there. The first thing um, that I got is this. So everything was a dollar. Some of the makeup is more than a dollar but less than two dollars. So if I remember the price, I'll tell you guys the price. But everything else should be a dollar. If I don't say the price, it's because it was a dollar. Easier to explain. So the first thing is a LED portable lamp that you plug into your laptop or anything. And it's just like a little lamp. I thought this was cute. I thought it would be useful for when I'm um, editing at night. I can just use this portable lamp instead of turning on the full light from my room. I just use this. I can really see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. The second thing that's not makeup. Oh, I only got two things that are not makeup. Maybe there. I got this little cute pouch that is um to <laughs> this little pouch that you use to store your um, headphones. And I got this because I usually just stuff my headphones in my purse and they get tangled up with everything. So I thought this was really useful and it was dollar. Um, you can pick the design that you want. I like this, this is really cute. They have different designs, but they pick it for you. So I guess just pick a random one and throw it in the bag. So yeah, I'm gonna be putting my headphones in here. So everything else from this bag is from Shop Me Say itself. So the first makeup um, product is their new Perfect Filter Face Primer. And it was $1.55. So it's up there. This is what it looks like. So it is a face primer. And it's supposed to help to minimize the appearance of pores and to extend the wear of your makeup. So I'm pretty excited to try this because it was only a $1.55. And then I also got more lashes. I got one in the shadow heart, shadow, one in the style Harper and one in the style Terry. This ones are in the style Harper. Really, really cute. Um, the lashes are $1.55, I believe so. And this is in the style Terry. I love their eyelashes, they're really affordable and they're actually really easy to apply and they're really comfortable. So I do recommend these if you are just starting to do your eyelashes. And then the next thing, I did get their new Buildable Satin Foundation. I got two shades. I got one in the shade Soft Tan and Natural Beige just because I didn't know what shade I was going to get. And these were also $1.55 if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, but... If I'm wrong, um, correct me down below in the comments. So this is what it looks like. And it is a little dropper. I haven't seen any reviews for any of the makeup that I bought. So I do want to experience it for myself, first impressions, and then do my own reviews. So this looks pretty, pretty pigmented. 
So it's satin, so it's not completely matte, I believe so. Um, it just says, delivers fillable coverage and a long-lasting natural finish. So I'm going to try those out. I did get some cleansing stuff for my brushes. I got one of the Argan Oil Sponge soap which was also which was also 155 and this one is in the scent strawberry so this is the packaging and then when you open it wait oh my god that smells so good so the, the soap is in plastic so i have to take it off and put it on here which i think that's smart because when it's getting delivered it can it can melt and it smells so Good. It actually smells like strawberry, so I'm excited to try this on my brushes. And then the next thing that I got for my brushes was their brush cleanser. And this one is in the scent rose, and it's an antibacterial spray. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to first wash my brushes with their soap and then spray it with this and then rinse it. Ooh, it does smell like roses. It smells really pretty. I believe this one's 155 as well. I may be wrong. <laughs> I don't think anything they have is over two dollars except like the palettes and like bundles and stuff. Not sure. And then the next thing I got was a shower steamer. Um in the scent eucalyptus mint. It smells good. It looks like so you just put these in the shower on the floor when you're showering and then the the steam of the hot water is supposed to activate these and it smells really good. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I've seen other people do it. and Yeah, so the water activates a fizzing reaction that will release essential oils into the air. So I think this will also be good like after you take a bath and then you want to rinse up in the shower. You can use this as well. I bought two. I bought one from one for my mom because my mom's obsessed with eucalypts, eucalyptus scents. I don't know why, but I bought it for her. And then I got um, two loose pigments, which are so pretty. One is in the shade Potion, and one is... I don't know what's wrong with me today. And one is in the shade Spell. So this one is in the shade Potion. It is like a little green loose pigment. Ooh, shit. Can you guys see it? It's so pretty. And then... Though this one is in the shade Spell. This one, I was like, oh my god. Can you guys see it? It is so pretty. So it's kind of like purplish, but it also has like iridescent to it. You can't really tell inside, but on the packaging you can. I'm excited to try this one. And then I also got two other gel liners. One in the shade... Well, it's supposed to be a gel liner, plus you can use it as an eyeshadow, which I thought was pretty interesting. They're, and it's their buttercream um, gel liner. And I got one in the shade Blueberry and in the shade Pistachio. This one is the, also this one is the packaging. And this is in the shade Blueberry, which is kind of like a minty turquoise. Did I say minty? I meant turquoise green color. This one right here. And then this one is in the shade Pistachio, which I think is a darker green. Yeah, this one's a darker green, so this is like a dark green. And I'm excited to try these so I can do some fun looks because I love doing colorful looks, so I'm excited. I also got their one of their blender holders. Oh, the holders. Holders, and this one is the whirly one, and I believe this was a dollar as well. So it's just a sponge holder. I have one that I got from Ulta, but sometimes I like to use more than one sponge at a time, so I decided to buy this one. It was only a dollar. I also bought one for my mom, and she actually likes it, so pretty cool. So that was the first bag. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second bag. This one's actually gonna be a little bit easier because everything is like up. So. First thing from this order was dry shampoo. This is, I was I was excited when I saw they had dry shampoo now. Oh, it smells good. This one was also one fifty five, and this one is in the scent Gentle Clean. 
gentle breeze. Oh no, clean breeze. <laughs> That's the the sense. So this says that it's gonna not leave any white residue, which I actually am excited about because I hate having white residue on my hair. I use it a lot because I have really thin hair, and dry shampoo really helps to get volume up in there. So I like it. So I'm excited to try this dry shampoo. I think for 155, it's a good size. So, um, <laughs> I got another blender hole. I guess I forgot I ordered one, but it's never, it's never bad to have more than one because I can just use a lot of sponges at once. The next thing, I get another blender. Blender. I got another primer. So this is their no pore face primer. Sorry for the background noise. I have the window open because it's hot in here. So, sorry. Um, this one was 188 and this is to help also minimize pores, but it's also a matte finish. Um, it's lightweight and non-sticky. So. Then I'm probably going to end up using um, both primers. One on one side of the face and one on the other side just to see the difference. Um, but, yeah. And I got more lashes. Um, oh damn, I got another pair of Terry lashes. I really need to look at the stuff before I reorder. <laughs> and this one is in the shade Nora, which they look really, really small. And um, this would be good for if you're trying to do like an all natural look, because it's not too big and they're not too long. So that's why I got them. And then I got. Um, um, they're, um, more of their little soaps, because I thought they're really, really handy and cute. So you open it, and then it's like a, like a really thin sheet, but it's actually soap. So all you need is the water, and you're good to go. So this is good for traveling, or like now, where the, like with the virus going on, um, you can just take these with you, and then when you want to wash hands, just get some water and just wash them, and you'll be good to go. And then, I don't know why I got so many, but I got three packs of their cotton puffs. These ones right here. I want to use them because I started using my Laura Mercier puff to set under my eyes. So I wanted to get some extra ones just when that one gets really dirty. So they were only a dollar, so I think that's why I got three. So I have six <laughs> for backups. And then I also got um, their other new foundation. This one is their Pro Wear Full Coverage Foundation. This one's supposed to be a matte foundation, if I'm not mistaken. And this is their um, from their Papa Foundation um, organization, or I forgot what it was called, but it was for the Papa one. So the pro some of the proceeds for the ones that have the little Papa on the back or the little cat. I think that's a cat. Um, all proceeds go to one of help goes goes to help an animal. So that's why I like my um things that have pink. I'm not explaining myself, but so I'm excited to try this too. I got this one's in shade ivory and this one's in the shade sand. So this one is a little bit too light, but we'll see what happens. So then I'm gonna do the separates, like I'm going to use the ones with the black cap on the one that I'm going to do on the full face of a new AOA Studio makeup. And then I'll probably review this separate. So, we'll see. And then I got um, two more concealers. I love their concealer. I love their concealer. Like, for a dollar girl, you need to get it. But I did get um, two peachy ones. Once a dark peach and one's a lighter peach just because I want to um start correcting because I've noticed that my under eyes are getting too dark okay I've been going to sleep really late and waking up really early so I need to cover those up <laughs> so that's why I ordered some peach ones just to color correct and yeah I do recommend their concealers they're really good in the front dollar so I do recommend it I wanted to take it out of the packaging but it's I'm not gonna deal with that right now and then I also got their new brow gel. I got two, one in the shade taupe and one in the shade caramel. So I think how you do this is you do your normal eyebrows how you do and then you put these on top. 
or I think you actually use these to do your eyebrows. I'm not quite sure. I need to read the directions on these, but they were only a dollar as well. So pretty cool. And I also got some got two lip liner, one lip liner and two gel liners. Um, this one is in the shade black, and this one's in the shade dark brown. So this is their um AOI Studio gel liner. So one is the black and one is the brown. Also a dollar. And then I got one of their uh, lip liners. It's a red one in the shade burgundy. Well, it looks red to me. <laughs> but this is their AOA Studio lip liner. Burgundy. And then the last things is I did get five brushes. I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the uh, plastic so you guys can see them. These were all a dollar as well. It's so hard to buy brushes from them now because they're really popular now. So when I want to go get a brush, they're sold out. So you really have to jump on that when they do restocks. Which I did. Got these five brushes right here. Um, this one is their AI Studio brush number E121. Um, I do have this one already. But I really like it, so that's why I got another one. This is really good to add um, eyeshadow to your crease or to even to blend out your crease. It's really, really, really good. So that's why I got that one. I'm actually going to put these away already because I'm going to use them. And then I also got their AOA Studio brush number E123. I also have this one as well, but I also like this one too, so that's why I got it. It's another good brush to apply um matte eyeshadows to your lid which is really good and it's also really good to um smoke out your bottom blushes and then i got another one of their e124 i use this brush to apply my inner corner highlights and my brow bone highlights so that's why i got another one but you can never have too many brow bone and inner corner highlight brushes and then i did get two little fan brushes i thought these were cute so we will see what we're gonna use these for these were a dollar as well this one is their she said it just says ay studio but it's red and then the tips are pink and then this one also says aoa studio but this one's kind of a little i think i did. you can probably use this for like brow bone highlights or even your oh your nose uh, I'm going to find something to do with these. But these are really cute. That's why I got them. And that's it. I thought I got more stuff, but I guess I didn't. Oh, well. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Watch out for my full face of AOA Studio makeup coming soon. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye, guys.